All right, we're going to calculate geo means, geometric means in Excel. There are actually two ways of doing it. One is if you have returns data, and the other is if you have adjusted close data. If you have returns data, add one to the series, add one to the returns, and then use the geometric mean function in Excel and subtract one. That will give you the geometric mean. Here's a sheet with stocks, three month T bills, 10 year T notes, yearly returns from 1928 to 2018. We're going to put the geo mean right here. Again, we have our two steps. We're going to add one to our series. Do that. Then we're going to do the geo mean function. And our geometric mean is 9.49. Now note that it is less than the stock mean. All right? I want you, if you want extra credit, here's what you do. You write me a reason why the geo mean is less than the mean before noon on Tuesday. All right? Explain that. And then look at, the, obviously you're going to do the calculations also for the three-month T-bill and the 10-month T-bill. The other way to get to the geometric mean is to use the adjusted close. And you only need two adjusted close. Beginning, end of the period, and you need to know the number of periods. Here is the equation for the geometric mean. Again, adjusted close at the end of the period, adjusted close at the beginning of the period, average return for every period there is compounded forward. That is the definition of the adjusted of the geometric mean. All right, we're going to rearrange that term. You can follow that. You can go one, two, this is what we're going to implement in Excel to get the geo mean. Okay, that's what we're going to do. Here is our adjusted close data from Amazon. Here's our adjusted close with all the other data. I'm going to make this red so we can see it. I wrote our formula for our adjusted close over here. We only need to adjust to close the beginning, which is this one. So we will make that a box around there. If this thing cooperates with me, it will. And then I'm going to split the screen here. View, freeze, split. Just so that we can get to the bottom here. All right, now, now I'm going to go to the bottom. All right, there they are. And I only need these two. So I'm going to put a box around this one too. So there, there's, this is AVE, this is AVB. I need the N. So what I'm going to do is count. So let's count how many returns we have. They should be 5,859, actually, this count. We're going to subtract 1 from it because there is actually one less day than is in series. So now I got everything I need. So I write here's my just my uh, geo mean equals this divided by this 
raised to the 1 divided by n minus 1. So, and I'll put that in percentage terms, by the way. So this is a, well, this is a daily percent, so it's going to be really small. 0.13% per day, which actually isn't that small, but there you have it. There's the geo mean for adjusted close. So, by the way, you could try and do this with the returns, but it might blow up. When you get too many return series in, geo mean in Excel becomes unstable. So there's how to calculate the geo mean.